gastroenterology. I am here to explain the prep and self-administration of the hydrogen breath test for SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. If your doctor asks you to complete a breath test for lactose or fructose, I will review that later in this video. These tests help us detect whether there is any presence of small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. When bacteria is present in the small intestine, you may experience abdominal pain, bloating, diarrhea, or constipation. The breath test comes in this following box. Contents include instructions, two packs of vials, this is what your breath sample will go inside, a mouthpiece, which I will show you closer later, 10 labels for the vials, two bubble wrap packets, and lactulose, which is the solution we use to test the breath. To ensure accuracy of your test, there are some guidelines you must follow. No antibiotics or colonoscopies. No laxatives at least a week before your test. The day before you take the test, you will need to consume broiled or baked chicken, white fish or turkey, eggs, plain white bread, steamed white rice, chicken, beef broth, or water. No cooking sprays, oils, or butter. Season only with salt and pepper and broth. You can eat as much as you want, but only the items listed. After you go to bed that night, do not eat or drink anything until the conclusion of your test. This does not include what you were drinking for the actual test. The day of the test, be sure to wait at least 30 minutes after waking up before performing the test. During that 30 minute window, pre-fill the labels. This includes name, date, check mark type of test. Example, SIBO. Do not fill out the time section until performed. Each time you breathe in a tube, write down the exact time, peel the label off, and put it on your tube like this. This is a time test, so make sure that you have a clock, a stopwatch, or a cell phone on hand to ensure the test is performed at the correct intervals. Make sure the collection number is correct or your results will be inconclusive. Basically, you don't want to test again, right? Do not brush your teeth, use mouthwash, gum, breath mints, or candy. Do not take any medications, do not exercise, smoke, or be around secondhand smoke. When you are taking this test, you will be collecting 10 breath samples over three hours. If you are performing the lactose or fructose breath test, you will be collecting four breath samples over three hours. For SIBO, you will do your baseline tube first. We want to see what is happening in your gut before we give it something. After completing the baseline tube, you will mix your powder or liquid with 10 ounces of water. After drinking, you will wait 20 minutes before collecting the next tube. You will do the remaining tubes every 20 minutes until all tubes are collected. When testing for lactose and fructose, there are only four tubes that are needed. You will do the baseline tube first. After completing the baseline tube, you will mix your powder or liquid with eight ounces of water. After drinking, you will wait one hour before collecting your next tube. You will do the remaining tubes every one hour until all tubes are collected. Now I will show you how to directly take the test and use these materials. Hold the collection device in one hand and then hold a collection tube in the other hand. Take a normal breath in and then wrap your mouth around the mouthpiece and blow out counting 1, 1,000 to 1,000. Note, there are small vents in the bag that is okay. 
Then you're going to press the vial in and count 1 1,000 to 1,000. You're going to remove the vial, label it, and then set aside. I'm going to do it all together so that you understand. After completing all 10 tubes, place them in the bubble wrap and return it to the box. You will return the completed kit to our office within three days of collection. Our office is located at 3100 Blue Ridge Road. Our lab is located on the first floor. If you are returning your completed kit to our Durant Road location, please return to the front desk staff. You should get your results back in seven to 10 days. If you do not hear from us, please call our office at 919-781-7515. Thank you.